Hey Simlies, it's Delicracy here and welcome to part 66 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Uh, today we're going to be in Trinity's household. In the last part we adopted uh, Liberty, a beautiful, beautiful son, Isaac. But there was a lot of confusion because a lot of you guys were saying, um, I think it's a girl baby because whenever the baby got put in the crib it had like a butterfly <laughs> outfit on and usually the male babies don't have that but it's a male baby because it said it was a boy so I don't know I don't know what the go is it'd be great if we could have a transgender child but I don't think that's gonna happen in the sims but it would be kind of cool if we could so um I don't know I don't know but anyways for this part I thought we'd focus on Taylor and Cody because, I mean Carter, sorry, because I really want to get them engaged. I want him to propose and I just think that would be really, really sweet. So anyway, she's just hanging at home with the kids. They've gotten home from school. She's watching TV, doing her thing and oh dear, an unhappy customer has sent back a dish that's undercooked and inedible. Carter can handle this one of two ways, either nuke it in the microwave or make the dish over from scratch. I just don't think um, Cody would have taught Carter to just throw it back in the microwave even though Carter is probably the type of personality who would so I think because of his father he would remake the dish um okay dish is cooked to perfection and he gets a $50 tip nice one nice one all right in Australia we don't really um we don't really do that much tipping uh, here, I mean, we do a little bit, but it's not like the U.S. where you're expected to tip or anything. It's because um, our pay rate for waitresses and waiters is a lot better. So it's almost like tips are included in, in the pay. So there's no point in tipping. Uh, that's kind of how we roll. But anyways, Desiree, where are you, girl? Desiree is like really fit these days. Like her body is like... Whoa, girl, you looking damn fine. So we want to keep her working out. And a lot of you guys were horrified at her hair. Like, you guys really did not like the hair. A uh, few of you did, which, I mean, I like it. Usually I probably wouldn't change it, but I just felt like there were so many more comments disliking the hair that I'm going to give her a new look. Um, I mean, you know, usually I'd probably stick with it for a while, but I just I just thought, wow, it's like comment after comment after comment. So for those of you who liked it, sorry, we're going to change it because of popular popular demand. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. A lot of you were mentioning the shaven head look for Desiree, and I'm just not sure if I want to do that. I think the shaven head's um, not quite what I want for Desiree. Um this was quite cute. It's a very different look for her. And then we've got the hair back, but we're using that in the Barbie LP. I mean, the shaven head's cool. I love this. This is such a pretty hairdo. And we had a few new ones from the new kitchen, um, the cool kitchen pack. That is just like so pretty. Maybe we could do this cut. This cut's cool. I like this cut. And there's a little bun at the back. Uh, those could kind of be the same hair too, which I quite like. Or there was this one. You know what? Let's go with this. Let's go a fringe and we could try as a redhead for a while. We don't really have any redheaded Sims or we haven't for quite some time or maybe just a brunette. Although I like Desiree looking like Trinity, her mum. But you know, let's make her a redhead. Um... Just because there's a lot of blondes in this family, we can change it up. Or we could do like a crazy color. I mean, ideally, I'd love to give her a balayaged look. Uh, but we just don't have that available as of yet in The Sims 4. Hopefully, we will have that available. But yeah, let's go. Do we want to go orange or do we want to go like red? What do I like? What do I like? Or there's the idea of going full black, which is pretty tough. Let's go orange. <laughs> okay. I just had to, I just had to have a really good think then of what, what I liked best. I'm loving Taylor's hair. I love it. I love Dez's new look. It's very different. It's very different, but let's all be open-minded. Let's just think, ah, Desiree's got a great new look going on. 
And um, if we go page up, did we get much exercise stuff for uh, Desiree to use? Um, now that she's becoming like a Fitzbo girl. I don't, I don't think we did. So let's get Desiree some new fitness items just because I feel like we, we just want her to really get into it. I want her to be like ultimate Fitzbo chick. She'd probably have her own Instagram page by this stage. And there's not really much room in the backyard. I mean, we could just get her to meditate on the street, I suppose. I know it's not really ideal, but. Where's the most zen part of this house? Hmm, there's not like that much room. Uh, you know what? Let's just go here. You know, she'll be so into it that she can kind of like block out the sounds outside on the road. <laughs> okay. Let's get her to do some, do a yoga routine, maybe energy centering, because we're all for that, aren't we, similes? And Taylor Harper, we want her to be in a really good mood. Carter's in a pretty good mood too, so that's good. She can use the toilet, um, maybe C student. Let's get, let's get these guys to do their homework, because we really want them to... Why are you still at school? Like, what? Leave school early. There we go. Do homework. He's obviously uh, wanting to get some extra credit there. Alrighty. Good boy, German. Doing your homework. Oh, what a cutie. What a cutie. Desiree's doing her uh, good old yoga routine. See you do something awesome. Let's get her really good at this wellness skill so that she does really cool stuff. Oh my gosh, I did this the other day. It's so hard. You've got to put your legs in and out and oh, I tell you what, it it hurts. It hurts so badly. Aww, you guys, so sweet. Okay, good boy, good boy. He's doing his homework. Um. Let's maybe bag about possessions, help with homework. That would be good. Excellent. Oh, Trinity girl, you're looking fun. <laughs> looking so fun doing all them dishes. Girl. I love her in a sun hat. She's still got that little love heart tattoo as well. It's very nice. Level, oh, wellness skill level three. Oh, wow. Nice. An unhappy customer has sent back a dish that's... Oh. We just did this. We'll remake the dish and get another 50 dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Oh, is she going to go into a full... Oh, shut the front door. I thought she was going to do that, but she didn't. Let's take a photo of these guys. Also, the resolution um, of this video is smaller than usual because I've been having so much lag in my videos. I can't figure it out. I've tried multiple different settings to have it at a higher resolution. I just don't know what it is. So I'm thinking it could actually be my computer, which is a real drag, which means I have to get some new parts for my computer, which I know nothing about. So let me know if you guys think you really want it bigger and it will make a big difference because I will do it if it does make a big difference. I will do whatever it takes to keep you all happy. And um, it keeps me happy keeping you guys happy. So that's good. Uh, all right. So let's go and give a heartfelt compliment. Oh, look at the two twins. So sweet. They're going to be really good looking, I feel like. I just feel. I just feel. Oh, oh Desiree's back. Let's have a bit of a give a bit of a hip bump. Maybe we'll do a bit of a give a pep talk. We should really get together with Ashton or just catch up with Ashton so then they can um like work out together. She's so fit. Remember when she was looking not as fit? 
Huh? Well, she's looking fit now. <laughs> Clever day, Boris. All right, little German. He's just like on the computer. Maybe we should make some friends. Maybe that's uh, chat in kids' chat room. Make some friends that way. Kato, when are you getting home? He's almost finished. I'm just wondering. Maybe, oh, maybe they should go away or something. Maybe they could go camping. Him, he proposes. Although I don't think Taylor's probably not really the camping type. So let's maybe serve some dinner. Garlic noodles sound good. So Trinity's really the mother hen here. She loves cooking for her grandkids. Loves. I mean, this this is a very family-oriented family like they live together they do everything together so she's very very proud of her family and loves cooking for the kids even if it means cutting a finger which is not a good thing <laughs> don't you guys love speaking simlish i do it all the time uh-oh. Oh, he's embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? Oh, he dropped a tray in front of everyone in the cafeteria today. How embarrassing. That is, that is a little bit embarrassing, but it's not so bad. Actually, I was at the footy today, and football, that's Australian football, which means it's not soccer. In Australia, we call soccer soccer, and we call uh, AFL football Australian Football League football. So uh, you can Google it if you guys want. It's a pretty awesome sport. But I went to see it today, a uh, game at the MCG. And basically it's a big stadium. And I was just, um, maybe we should call everyone to meal. What is she doing? She's just swimming laps. Okay. Um, and what's Desiree doing? Is she jogging? Oh, she's stretching. Oh, she's such a fitness girl. Such a fitness girl. She get her to meditate. Oh no, she's gonna get food. Um, anyways, so we're sitting on this tiered seating and I was eating sushi and I got crab sushi and I'm not really into eating crab. So I took the big long crab pieces out of my sushi roll. And um, so they were sitting on the plastic thingy and I don't know, whoa, cans. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I like, jumped you know how you sometimes your body just jumps for no reason usually when you're going to sleep well I wasn't going to sleep but I just jumped and my crab things and my sushi went flying all over next to the <laughs> like onto the person next to me and the guy in front the guy in front was so absorbed in the football game he didn't even notice but there was he had a newspaper next to him and there was all the rice that was stuck to the newspaper so for the whole game I was trying to lean over and get the rice off Oh, it was such, it was so awkward. Anyways, uh, back to the LP. Let's maybe tell a funny story. Desiree would be good with her, um, her nephews. Her nephews, that's, that's who they are. <laughs> Talk about favorite animal. Sounds good. Oh, he's almost home. Maybe they should, oh, I don't know where we should go. I reckon we should just go for an overnight stay. Yeah, we'll just go for an overnight stay in the bush. And, um, oh, she's learnt Brant is ambitious. Now that is a good, good thing to have as a child. Great to be ambitious. Oh, and she's feeling flirty. She's feeling flirty. And she's going to kiss him. Oh, she's had two of his kids. She's been waiting for so long for him to just hurry up and put a ring on it. Trinity probably knows what's going on. She's like, honey, do you have the ring? Yes, mom. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Uh, whisper seductively. He'll be like, I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Trinity's just in the way. We're going to go on a holiday. Yay! We're going gonna get married oh dear i'm sick and that just sounded terrible that's embarrassing let's let's move on let let us travel let us go on a vacation with our gorgeous wife to be and we're gonna leave the kids at home for this one uh desiree and trinity will look after them bonuses of living with your family 
Oh, she's really put Taylor into something a little bit more appropriate. <laughs> uh, we might put them in some camping gear, but we are going to pop the question. Where should we go? There's so many choices. Oh, we might go to Granite Falls. What? Do I want a vacation with everyone? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, did I? What did I just do then? Go on vacation with. Did I not uncheck? My bad. Taylor Harper. There we go. Oh, look, he's come to visit. It's our man, Cody. Oh, hey, Cody. Uh, okay, Granite Falls. Um, so, this is where the family went one time. This is just where a tent would be. And these are some other builds that were already here. So that's got two beds. This has got one bed, one bath. It's a riverside retreat. Or the green getaway, 397, 282. Let's go for the most expensive because let's be honest, Taylor's going to appreciate that. Okay, an ice cream diet. The taste of diet flavor is almost too good to be true. Mm, ice cream. I actually had a gelati today. I had a mixed berries, wild berries of the forest flavor, and it was good. It, it was purple. Oh my god, girl, you are gonna freeze. Uh, okay. Oh, this is cute. Let's just take a look at where we're staying. So this, I didn't do this build. This was already in the game. So it's pretty simple uh, log cabin, but I like it. We've got a nice esky out the back. We've got a few things, and this came with the Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat Game Pack. So that's exciting. A nice little TV. It's really not um, the probably the luxury suite uh, Taylor might like. But then again, I feel like she went camping with the mages ago, so she wouldn't be too fussy. What we will need to do is we need to put them in some appropriate hiking gear because, you know, it's just just a good idea to dress appropriately when you're camping and this is this is not appropriate uh okay how many outfits do we have for this lovely lady okay i like those outfits i really do uh we'll just get her one hiking outfit i think uh it's nice that we have a few extra things that go quite well with the hiking theme i feel we might just do we could do something really bright. I mean, it's a checkered shirt, so it's kind of hiking, right? <laughs> kind of camping. Now nah, we'll put her in a nice warm hoodie and also... I just don't think she would wear these. No. I just... No. They're just not her style. Nice comfy flare pants. Pajama pants. Not those, not those, not those, not those. Where's our pants at? I feel like there's usually way more. We could just put her in three quarters. I mean, she doesn't necessarily have to wear hiking pants, but oh my gosh, that's a cute little pink outfit. Uh, probably too matchy matchy though. We'll do pink and white. We'll take her out of wedges and we'll give her... Ah. Um... Hmm. Not those little pink Ugg 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 boots are kind of cute. I mean, they wouldn't be the best for camping, but they are. They are cute. Oh my gosh. Did you guys hear that? That was actually my stomach. If you heard it, I just had a really uh, nice meal of tacos and I'm addicted to jalapenos. Oh, those are good. They're so good. Okay. You know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just put her in. Healed hiking boots. We should just put her in normal. Yeah, let's just put her in normal hiking boots. I was going to say let's go for it and just put her in a... Oh, damn it. We forgot. <laughs> we forgot. Not Cody Carter. I keep calling him Cody. I shouldn't have given father and son such similar names. Uh, yeah. See if we can just 
Let's see what his other options are, because I can't really... I really don't want to put him in... A completely different outfit. This is okay, but I feel like he might be cold right now. What's every day for? What are what 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 Hello friends, I'm Deacon, your friendly forest ranger. I'm chock full of camping knowledge, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. How was my Aussie accent? Not bad. Oh, she looks so sweet. Carter, you really need to pick up your game. Oh my god, he's got pink hair. That's epic. That is super epic. Um, alright, so, you know what, let's take care of their needs quickly before, before anything happens, because I feel like that's probably our first priority. Taylor's in a really good mood, so I feel like she's going to accept straight away anyways. Um, let's just do a friendly introduction. And Taylor did cheat on Carter not long ago because of her frustrations with wanting to get married. So, because of that indiscretion... Uh -huh. I feel like she'll feel a bit guilty, but I don't think we'll bring it up with Carter uh, for a while. I don't think she would tell him. Oh, he's in bed already. You know what? I just think, I just feel like Carter needs to actually toughen up and, you know what? Just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it under the stars. It's romantic. He's not dressed right. Just... What's his athletic wear? Oh my god. Oh dear. Every day one. Every day two. You know what guys? I'm sorry. We I I can't he cannot propose in the wrong outfit, okay? If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. And he's gonna be in a matching hoodie. It's gonna be really cute. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Let's do this. We could put him in this kind of a thing. This is this is pretty sexy. This is like fit man attire, and I'm into that. Fit man attire. Although we did want a matching hoodie, didn't we? This is handsome. Ooh. Ooh. He likes that one. Let's go with blue. Let's go with blue because it goes with uh, the pink outfit and he could be in shorts because maybe he doesn't get cold as easily. Or we could do just kind of tracky pants. Yeah, we'll go tracky pants and he probably needs some hiking boots too. So we'll just go with these in probably a darker brown so he doesn't match his his lady completely all right i'm excited i'm excited they're gonna make this official yay okay oh my goodness okay oh i feel so much better now he's dressed properly where'd she go She looks so feminine right now. Uh, bright and day. And then, oh my, Carter. Get out of bed. All right, so we've got to, we've got to find the perfect, perfect place to, to pop the question. And, uh, I mean, this, this is, this is really sweet. Then if we look up at the stars, isn't a full moon, like, this is cute. Let's go here together. Alright. I'm going to just speed them up down to the water's edge. Oh, I didn't realize there was a sun um, when they were camping. Oh, <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> Oh my god, we're just going to be a little bit rude to him, because you know, we, we, we want you to go, man. 
Okay, we didn't mean to be that rude, but we just want you to leave. Like, it's just not... It's not okay. Like, please leave us alone. Goodbye. There we go. Oh, dear. Oh, Lampima. Oh my god, that outfit we had? Oh, this is a disaster. There we go. Okay. Alright, time to get our romance on. Offer a rose. I feel like she knows this proposal is coming. She totally knows it. <laughs> Romance. Express fondness. Oh. Romance. Oh. Embrace. Oh. Whisper seductively. And then I think caress cheek. You know, we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna build up to this. It's not just gonna be straight off the bat. Will you marry me? But we will profess our undying love. <laughs> They're quite a good couple because I feel like I feel like she would remind him of his mum in a in a nice way, not in a creepy seedy way. Like he's marrying in his mum. Not like that at all. <laughs> but just it's familiar and nice. Oh, Okay, and right before, I think right before he proposes, I feel like we should caress her cheek again because that's just a beautiful, a beautiful interaction. And then let's propose. Under the stars. Oh, so sweet. I've got to get a photo of this. This is really cute. Oh. Oh, they're exhausted now, but that was well worth it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you are having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I will speak to you soon.